people, today is the Sabbath. Why are you all working? Have respect for the day of the Sabbath. Go and worship God instead. Do not stay here. It is certain that you will receive nothing but the fires of hell if you continue your business in the market. Why on earth is that woman talking so much? Listen to my words, people. Her words are very dangerous. You must go and worship God and Everybody not spend any her. more time in the market today. I implore you, please She's listen harmless. to me. Relax. Surely you have all read the Torah where it says you mustn't work on this day. Heed those words. It's a day of atonement. Rather than working, seek purity from your God. People, you cannot argue against the decree of God. The punishment for this transgression is extreme. The women's right. You know that Today I is indeed the, the Sabbath. It is a sin to do business Those on this day. Here who fail to obey the oh, word of God what are you talking will be torn about? Away from their tribe. It's fine. No, please, come back. Look, the words, rabbis are right people, there. Leave this place at once and go home, or Look, you will all be punished. How can we do business like you this? Stay here. I don't know Today what can you do about it. Day. You must She's repent. a lunatic. You know that I speak the truth. You must listen to me. People, repent sincerely to God. Don't sin, because these sins will take away blessings from your businesses. So, if it isn't Anna the Mad Woman, the heroine of the temple... What do you want? Why do you want to upset all the people like this? Perhaps you could give your speech some place if I give you a large handful of coins. What about Azrael? Azrael? Are you going to pay the Angel of Death with your filthy money? <sighs> Listen, Michael. I think it would benefit you to remove that woman from this place. She's spreading her ideologies and upsetting decent people. It's going to have a negative effect on the temple's business. You know what to do. She's better off God. We're tired of her as well, I can assure you. There's nothing we can do about her. On second thought... What is it? Why do you feel the need to disturb the peace? If you don't keep your mouth shut, I'll have you thrown out of here, understand? You know something? You sound exactly like one of Herod's soldiers to me. I see you're on the same side as the money changers, is that it? You want to con the people more and more every day. This is still our God's house, isn't it? Don't you think we should be obeying God's commandment and observing the Sabbath instead of doing business? Everybody, don't listen to this mad woman. It's blasphemy. You should only be hearing the word of God through the rabbis, because we have read many books. You are being cruel to the poor animals that carry these books for you. Are you certain they're not carrying your ego as well? You're crazy! She's crazy! Get back to business! Why are you people listening to her? She's nothing but a malcontent, stirring up trouble. Don't worry, we'll tell you what's right and what's wrong. Be going about your business. You're committing no sin. The rabbi has even said so. Go on. Go on. The prison guard, my lady. So, any news? Lady Miriam remains quiet for now. As per your instructions, we've taken away her royal robes and given her standard prison clothes, my lady. Has anyone from Zachariah's supporters come to see her? No, not yet. We haven't even allowed her handmaidens to come visit her. No one has the courage to come and see her. She's totally isolated. What is she doing now? She sits and prays. So she's praying. That can only mean that her spirits remain high. She's like her father, stubborn and arrogant. She will no longer receive food. If that doesn't work, take away her water. Her water, my lady? Silence! Do as you're instructed, all right?
I'm going to crush you, Miriam. You'll see. Tell me, when are you going to stop being so spiteful towards her? Why are you upset? Miriam isn't your mother. I know just how much Herod loves Miriam. And if his love should ever turn into hatred, then we are all going to suffer the consequences. Don't be a child, Antipater. You are the heir to Herod's throne. You should be thinking about stabilizing your power right now. Miriam is the greatest of all your enemies. Josie. Hello, Your Honor. How are you? I heard that you're leaving the temple, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. I wish to be with Zachariah. I knew your parents very well before they passed. They were people of great character. And you are among the most honorable of the temple's youth. Why do you wish to leave? Stay and complete your religious studies. I'm certain you will make an exceptional rabbi. And you'll receive a good income. I want to learn carpentry from Zachariah, Your Honor. I wish to be his student. I hope I'll be able to put those skills to use in order to earn money that I can use to help the poor. Besides, right now in the temple, there are plenty of rabbis. Making timely, well-considered decisions is the mark of a man with true value. You're a smart and gifted person, Joseph. And you've chosen a wise teacher for yourself. You remind me a lot of my younger days. Of a time in my life when I wanted to follow my heart wherever it might lead. But I hesitated. You have my blessing. Zachariah, I'm ready. Joseph. Come. Let us say goodbye to Mary. Mary! Mary! Joseph wants to leave the temple to become my student. Sister, do you have any words for me? Be grateful for being by Zachariah's side, Joseph. It is a wonderful honor. I know. Goodbye, Goodbye then. then. Come. Joseph. The beauty of nature that you see all around you shows the exquisiteness of God's creation. But it will all perish just like everything else. Until the day of judgment when everything that has died will be revived again. Those who deny the day of judgment will ask, Why don't the angels descend upon us? Why? Why are we the only ones who can't see God? Truly they are being quite arrogant, and they go too far. When the day comes for them to see the angels, the angels won't give revelations. They'll turn them away. On that day, all the unbelievers will express nothing but regret, wishing in vain that they'd followed the ways of the prophets. I've had many students before you, but each one of them made excuses and left me. 
Joseph, it brings joy to the heart to build a cradle for an orphan child to rest in. It brings more joy than anyone can ever know to be truly selfless and build a hut to shelter the homeless. I just hope that I am worthy of being your student. Elizabeth, good news. Look who's here. <laughs> Joseph, I can't believe it's you. You've grown so much since I've seen you. Hello. Hello. I am at your service, Lady Elizabeth. God bless your beautiful mother. If only she was here to see your son. <laughs> Joseph will be my student. He wants to learn carpentry. <laughs> Wonderful. You want to pay three shekels for this bracelet? I paid ten shekels. Our expenses have gone up. You should bear in mind the increase in tax and interest. That's ridiculous. Right. Just give me back my money. This is everything I have left. How am I supposed to feed my children on this? Calm down, calm down. There's no use in yelling. Oh, I'm just take it easy. I'm upset. That's we me. all got you. I want what my money is worth. Of course you do. And so do I. I look how much I told you. Wait, you can understand. People argue here every day. I wouldn't be surprised if they attacked us soon. This is terrible. Didn't I tell you to stop the money changers and usurers from coming in here, Michael? But you Pharisees objected to my words and insisted that the temple and God's religion were desperately in need of the money raised from their trading. Now look at what you've done. Now take a good look at the trouble you've gotten us into with this. This is going to destroy us all, mark my words. Look there, everybody! Herod's soldiers! Herod's soldiers! They're coming this way! Move it! Clear the way! It's Herod's soldiers. What are they doing? What does this mean? Listen up, soldiers. What is it? Why are you here? To this way. To that way. Search everywhere. Hurry up. Close the doors of the temple. Nobody must be allowed to leave. Summon the rabbis. Summon the rabbis. Get them together. Bring them into the courtyard. Zechariah. Zechariah. The great Herod has summoned all the rabbis to the palace. Herod has summoned us? Yes. There's Hillel, you can go ask him. I'll go inform the others. Zachariah, we must all go to the palace at once. Yes, Hillel, I've heard. But you know full well I'll never set foot in that tyrant's palace. Hey, stop! You cannot leave! He's not a rabbi. His clothes are totally different. So who is he then? I know him. His Zachariah. Ah, I didn't recognize him. We've been given special orders to arrest Zachariah on sight, haven't we? Arrest him. Sir. His Majesty Herod, the great ruler of all Judea, and joining him here, his sister, Princess Deborah, and the supreme commander of all the eastern regions, Crown Prince Antipater.
Your Majesty, as you have decreed, we have assembled the rabbis before you. All of them. Yes, but even now I can see someone among them who refuses to bow his head to his king like all the others. So you're Zachariah, are you? Come forward. I've heard a lot about you, old man. For some reason, I thought you'd be much younger. For many years, I've wished to see you in person. You're the one who is despised by all the people of the temple, but somehow you remain indifferent to the people around you, don't you, old man? You work as a carpenter and stay away from the temple. You consider yourself a prophet. Tell me something, are you able to tell my future? Can't you speak? Say something so I can hear your voice. You cannot expect someone who's been brought here by force to speak willingly, can you? <laughs> oh my, the power that boils in your eyes is quite intimidating. Oh, it's little wonder that these poor people complain to me about you all the time now, is it? But your majesty... Be silent. We... Something extremely important has come up, and I need your vote. A terrible plot has been planned in this palace, but luckily it failed to work as expected. The chief offender behind this treachery has been arrested, and she will receive the absolute maximum punishment imaginable. Your Highness, giving the death penalty to those who are treacherous towards the King doesn't require the approval of the rabbis. You will find that you are wrong. You, bring in the traitor! be very clear. Miriam, the daughter of Antigonus, has been charged with plotting against the king of Judea, which is punishable by death. But your majesty, how could Lady Miriam have betrayed you as you say? It's just unbelievable. Lady Miriam's guilt is a certainty. Would you care to explain how you know this? I did not assemble all of the rabbis so I could explain myself. What the king is trying to say is that because of the current situation and the recent upheaval that has been taking place in the country, Lady Miriam's execution must take place privately according to the rules of the rabbis. We're all ready to do what the great Herod orders. And we are certainly ready to carry out any order that is appropriate in order to punish those who are treacherous. I must warn you that God will someday pass judgment on all of you, in much the same way that you pass judgment on others. You dare to teach us religion in the very presence of King Herod. What I say, I say for the benefit of every rabbi in this room. By the same token, I would also advise King Herod to give this issue more thought. Silence! This is not the time or the place. I want your approval for issuing a death sentence for her. Will you do it? Don't have a choice. We, we must to agree. Yes. We must we can't find a her. Your yes. Highness, would you permit me to tell a brief story? It might just help solve this problem. And perhaps it... It might help prepare us for whatever lies ahead. It's an inspiring story. Go on. You see, some time ago, Hillel and I were visiting Imran. He told us that a powerful man was ruling a city very far away. 
He did not believe in God, but his wife was a pious woman who had faith in the Lord in abundance. The man had a profound love for his pious wife. She was kind and greatly admired by the peasants. She was charitable towards those who were poor and helpless and used every opportunity to be among them. The man's associates were very jealous of the esteem in which he was held and revealed the woman's spiritual faith to her husband. Upon hearing the news that his wife was a monetheist, the man was filled with rage and promptly murdered her. With the last drop of the woman's blood, a great feeling of anguish filled the man as he realized his mistake. He suddenly realized the killing was unjust, but too late. From that day on, the man's mind was never at peace. And so he became very suspicious and apprehensive. Soon he began to distrust those that were closest to him because of what they made him do. So then, he insisted on having every single one of those people killed and their blood smeared all over his hands to ease the guilt. In the end, death finally came to him. And as is the fate of every man, took him to another world, where the Lord held him accountable for his actions. Earlier, you asked me to foretell your future. The future comes according to a person's actions. Do not waver, Herod. Be careful. Do not let Zachariah's words stand in the way of something you know you have to do. Do not let his wisdom and compassion have an influence on your decision. Zachariah's words are only meant to affect those individuals who retain a shred of mercy and compassion inside their hearts, not those who are arrogant and power-loving like you. I wish that you'd arrived later than you did and I'd been killed by your soldiers along with my father. That way I'd never have experienced the shame of being your wife, nor would I have been humiliated for living in your gloomy castle. Death is a thousand times more desirable than living in disgrace. Now, I'm getting closer to my long-awaited dream, finally freed from this prison, full of hypocrites. Do you see? See how the traitors revealed in everything she said? She openly admits to everybody in this room that she hid her traitorous vengeance in her heart where it festered and waited to act. She must be put to death! Herod is filled with rage. Lady Miriam's words have angered him, and Zachariah's words have given him reason to rethink Lady Miriam's execution. For the moment, I think you should stay away from Herod. Damn Zachariah and his arrogance. He's put everybody at risk. Issachar! <laughs> Issachar, I... <laughs> There's a... Calm down, man. You look like you've seen the devil. Trust me, it was nothing short of the devil. Explain. A wild canine. A rabid dog. I don't know how it found its way into the temple. Come and see with your own eyes. I swear it nearly ripped me to pieces. Where? It must still be in there. It came in from the south. So why didn't you inform the guards? Because I didn't have the opportunity. He was about to sink his teeth into me. I barely managed to escape his jaws. Oh, there it is. You see? He's roaming on his own down there. Who is that? It's late at night. Is it one of the servants? Mary? Where is she? Oh, I see her. So that woman St. Mary, is it? <laughs> we should go out there and warn her right away, or else the dog might decide to attack the poor Wait woman. Wait a second. If Mary truly is a saint, then she'll be able to defend herself. I think Michael is right. Just wait. Patience.
That's unbelievable. I agree. It didn't harm her. Dogs just don't attack women and children, that's all. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm laughing at all of us, huh? <laughs> you laugh at us? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's funny how a young girl can play tricks on us so easily. It really is a sweet story, Pericles. I think you should hear it. It sounds interesting. Go on. An infant girl was offered to the temple, but all of the rabbis agreed they would reject her. They used the power and influence they had to stop her from coming to the temple. Until one day came, we saw her climbing up the temple steps. We belittled her and insulted her. But throughout the years, she kept on growing. Despite our efforts, she grew to be admirable. And now all the people are lured by her words. And they view the rabbis as being the disciples of the devil. Isn't that so, Issachar? My brothers, please listen to what I have to say to you. Throughout time, Moses' religious laws were distorted by those in power for their own personal gain. Nothing more. How is it possible for a holy book to be written this way? Certain matters were written about clearly in the holy book, but rabbis changed the meaning of these writings Zechariah! to suit themselves. Zechariah, come! Please come quickly! Mary's collapsed for some reason! Show me. Down there. Mary. Mary. What happened? Goodness, you have only fainted. Pour some water, Jonah. Drink some. What's wrong? Are you fasting? on. You've caused commotion in the temple. Zachariah's used to stirring up trouble every now and then, aren't you? You're being extremely unfair. Why do you have to make Mary work so hard? You know how weak she is. She doesn't possess the strength to bear so much hard work. Come now, Zachariah. 
You were the one who insisted she come and work at the temple in the first place, not us. She's been excused from working here for many years now, and none of us are forcing Mary to work. But she remains here, and of course works of her own free will. And not only has Mary attracted everyone's attention with her pretentious behavior, the only thing I ever hear come out of the rabbi's mouths these days is Mary this and Mary that. People in the market and on the streets talk about her and describe her as a saint. I am sick of hearing about it. People come from far and wide to visit with her privately. Those who are ill ask her to heal them. The people who come here from outside this town know this temple by the name of that woman. Sometimes she'll pretend to faint like now and spread rumors that the work in the temple has delivered her to death's door. And this deceitful behavior has created terrible rumors in town that we're being far too strict with her. The servants in the temple don't trust us now. Her behavior has made other servants lazy and disobedient. Some of them openly defy our commands. You poor deluded old man. Oh yes, Zachariah's been taken in by the deceitful witch. Yes, that Mary truly is a witch. Hello. Warmest greetings to you, Your Honor. Uh, <laughs> These are the only things I have left. Please accept Surely them. Surely you must be joking. But this is everything I have. I, I have nothing Now's else to not give. Now's not the time to offer sacrifices. <laughs> okay, very well. Give it to me. I'll do it. All right, give me that one, too. <sighs> very good. Very good. Is it you? I beg of you, please tell me, are you Saint Mary? Mary is my name. Please help me. I've traveled far, but I had to come. I need your help. Saint Mary, have mercy. I beg you. You're my only hope in this world. Please help me. My son is extremely ill. The doctors say that there is no hope for him. I've given offerings, but my poor little boy is very close to dying. I wanted to ask you for a piece of bread that might cure him. If you can, I know you would be able to help him. Will you help him? I will pray for your son. Oh my. 
You must be careful, dear. Mary, you just can't go on like this. I know you've been dividing your daily share of food between the people here, and you're fasting. These women aren't really seeking a cure for their children. They, they come here simply because they're hungry. They feed on the bread you give them, but tell you that it's being used for a blessing to heal their loved ones, but it's not true. I know. But it's all right. body won't bear much more of it. How much longer is she going to keep sharing her food with the needy that come through those doors? I feel afraid that something terrible will happen. I'll go and visit her. Thank you. 
How are you doing, Mary? You're praying, are you? I won't disturb you. Don't stop praying. Grapes? In this season? I wonder who brought those for Mary. Hello, Zachariah. Hello. Hello. David. Does anybody give food to Mary? Mary? No one sees her. She doesn't have any visitors. She spends her time in her room, worshipping in private. 